Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. We'll be looking at today the GMC 320 Plus Geiger Counter. In today's world, there's a lot of nuclear threats. You have nuclear reactors such as Three Mile Island, Fukushima, Chernobyl, and many others that you might not have ever heard of. Like here's a list. You can see it goes on and on, and those are the ones that have been reported. Also, history tells us that we can't rely on our governments to disclose the full severity of the situation if you had a nuclear meltdown. Also, in the world we live in today, there's always a threat of nuclear attack. There are many ways that we could be warned. For instance, you have your typical, stereotypical horns that can go off, sirens, things like that. You also can have your TV come up with the emergency alert system. We're all familiar with that sound. However, today your first alert will probably come via a message on your cellular phone. But I'll go back to, you may not necessarily be alerted as soon as it happens or the full severity of the situation. So that's where having your own Geiger counter could come in really handy. Now when somebody says Geiger counter, the first thing they're going to probably think of is this. This is your field Geiger counter. This is not a good Geiger counter to have, let's say, in your home to sort of get the average reading of, let's say, just typical radiation for instance if you have a I know I'm sort of trying to think and go here you have to say you have a reactor 20 miles away and it has a leak your your typical field Geiger counter is not going to let you know there's a problem that's for finding hot spots that are really close and very strong you're gonna need something like this now surprisingly this particular Geiger counter which is highly rated wherever I look is very very inexpensive. It only was $115 on Amazon. I bought this with my own money. Nobody sent it to me. This is the GMC 320 Plus by GQ. And uh, I provided a link in the description box below if you're interested in any time, along with some other links as we go through this quick look. It's not really an in-depth review. And I'm also going to reference a video that I did on potassium iodide tablets as well as this video. So if you decide to order this, it comes in this box right here. And you get a quick start guide with some information. You could also go to the links that they provide to get a more thorough guide. You can see pretty well written instructions. The Geiger counter, of course, that came in that. You get a charging cable because it does have a rechargeable battery inside. We'll take a quick look at that. And you get this safety guide right here. I'll let you take a look at it. And it's a good thing that they tell you this information because you're going to start this up and it is going to detect some sort of radiation because there's always radiation around us unless you're in some shielded facility that blocks everything. So you're probably going to get a little bit of normal background uh, radiation. And last but not least they do give you a disc with some software because you can uh, plug this into your computer also through this cable right here but that's after you load the software and driver and you can go ahead and look at things on your computer we're not going to really go into that today because I don't want it to be very long so nothing really fancy here it's plastic it's made okay it's not like super metal construction or anything like that and you don't want it to be metal because you have to be able to read the radiation going on outside uh, this could detect beta, gamma, and x-ray. That's the type of radiation that this particular detector will detect. See, it says nuclear radiation detector. This is not a field detector. This is one that is going to measure stuff. Um, that's, it's much more sensitive than your field detector or got your counter. So, you have some buttons right here. We'll talk about those. USA. You have a little lanyard there. You have a mini USB right here that you use to charge and for transferring data to your computer via the software. You can see it has some mounting holes in case you just want to mount that. And here's where the battery goes. You don't really need to change the battery because it's rechargeable right in there. But it is a 3.7 volt 800 milliamp hour battery. And 
I'm going to grab my flashlight. I want you to take a look in here. You can actually see that tube going on there. So, so for those of you who know Geiger counters, you can see it does have that Geiger tube or whatever you call it, molar tube. Uh, I don't know the specifics, but it is a honest to Pete <laughs> Geiger counter. I have in my notes that that tube is a M4011. So let's go ahead and turn it on. You can see there, power button. So you press and hold it till it comes on. When you first get this, you do want to charge it. Just leave it off, plug it in via that cable to any USB power supply and just charge it up. And we'll just let this sit here and you'll see that it'll start picking up some background info or background radiation, which is normal. So normal is considered between 5 and 50 CPM. Last time I had this on, it was averaging about 15. Now we can sequence through several different displays. See, this is the large font right there. You go into text mode. Get some other information. Go into graphics mode. You can get a nice little graph going on there. And when you're in any of these modes, then you can sequence through some other sub settings. Like you have one bar. There's a two bar chart right here. Line graph. So you have all kinds of different settings where you could sort of play around with here. Line bar. Pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go back to, whoops, we're going to go back to default out of the box so you can sort of see that experience. Also, you could get into the menu, the main menu there, and you could go through and change your display options, save data, timeout count, initial setup other things you could set an alarm out of the box this thing is set to sound an alarm when it gets over 100 CPM you could change that if you like but when it gets to about a hundred that's when you need to uh, start worrying about getting out getting out of the area because it's a problem you could tell that because it's red <laughs> it's red now how do you know this thing is working get some of this <laughs> I put a link in the description box below. Runs about forty dollars, and it tells you what it should be when you uh, have your detector next to it. Yes, you could order uranium on Amazon. Um, had no idea you could order that. Now this is very low level kind of stuff. It's not going to hurt you unless you were to ground it up into dust and uh, ingest it or something like that. And there are some warnings in there about that. Also. Also, if you want some comic relief, go ahead and read the comments on Amazon for this stuff. Some of them are absolutely hilarious. They talk about this one person only gave it one star because they said that the woman from the Ukraine didn't come. He was very disappointed because uranium ore sort of sounds like Ukrainian, you know. <laughs> there, there are some comments where people... Um, put this next to their lizard and then their lizard is gone because it's a 350 foot lizard attacking Japan and things like that. Like I said, check out the comments. It is really funny. Want to see what uranium ore looks like? Um, well, let's start out to give you a little certificate here. Again, the link is in the description box below. This is by Images SI. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Let you see that information and here is what uranium ore looks like it just looks like a rock and they do say when you're you're testing this with your Geiger counter to go ahead and turn the rock around because one side might be giving off more radiation than the other and actually the other side might totally block the side that has radiation so you gotta sort of turn it around on your Geiger counter to try to achieve what they rated that sample as. So the tube is down here. Now you can see how that screen flip. There is a gyroscope in here. There's also a thermometer so I could give you the temperature if you like. It has uh, lots of neat features. Also it's a clock, a date, time, battery. So 
you're going to get to hear the alarm, which I have set at 100 CPM. So I'm going to go ahead and remember the tube is down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, sort of set the rock down here and put this right there. It'll probably be a little bit higher if I take it out of the package and move the rock around, but I just want you to experience the alarm that's built into this thing so you can have it running all the time. And then if uh, it goes over 100, then it'll alert you and let you know if you have an issue in your area. You don't have to rely on the emergency broadcast system or alarms or um, whatever local government you have to alert you. You can alert yourself and you don't have to worry about full disclosure of the severity of the situation. There we go. Time to be concerned. Maybe to get out of town. Maybe time time to start looking at taking some of this. These are potassium iodide tablets. This keeps your body from absorbing the really bad iodine given off by um, radiation sources. You know, Potassium iodide that fills your thyroid up with this inert iodine, the bad stuff, so it doesn't fill up with the very radioactive nasty stuff and make you sick. This doesn't solve all your issues, but it'll solve a lot of them. I did do a, a review on this. I did provide a link to my video and to um, where to get this also. Alright, we'll let things settle back down <laughs> to normal. I don't want to get anybody too excited here. Um, in the menu, I just wanted to show you some things here under other get your initial setup, or you would also set up your alarm. You can go to others right there. You got your battery, battery type. Um, you can see what temperature it is right there, and you can change that to Fahrenheit, I believe. There we go, just by hitting your up down arrow while you're there. Okay, let's back out of there. Where were we? Let me go back under others. You have a gyroscope, so you can see there's built-in gyro right there. And all that's really good for is so if you mount this upside down this way, you'll flip the screen around. Pretty cool. What else do we have? You have baud rate, which I guess is when if you're connecting something externally there to record. So lots of features we can go ahead and jump up to the initial setup you can see that's where you set your date and time you can calibrate if you want to you know you get a test sample and you want to go ahead uh, out of the factory it, it's set up pretty good I don't think there's a need to recalibrate it but um really cool for $115 to get a um, nuclear radiation detector, a little bit peace of mind, especially if you live close to a reactor. It's just nice to have something like this as some added protection um, alert. And uh, I, I've never considered one of these until I came across this one. It was recommended by BF Earthwatch. I watched one of his videos and I could not believe how inexpensive this guy is and it's highly recommended by so many different reliable sources um, looks like it has like a little plastic cover that you could peel off there I'm gonna leave that on just as a protection but um very very nice again you know not the most solid case in the world again this is probably one of the most inexpensive Geiger counters that you can get but it works very good and it seems to be very accurate out of the box. Uh, one other thing, the company uh, GQ also has a world map where people with devices, their devices can upload their readings. So it sort of gives you a radiation level map of all over the world. So that's pretty cool. And you can do that via the software that they provided. Or you can just download. It's all in the quick start guide and instructions that come with the Geiger counter and there's a link to the website that will give you the most up-to-date information again one more look at the safety card right there ah there's what the map looks like pretty cool 
and again their map is all over the world they're just giving you an example of the US right here there's also some pretty cool videos on YouTube where people have this on the plane when they're flying let's say across the country and they can you can see the radiation levels go up because as you go up thinner you know up higher and the atmosphere gets thinner it let you get more of the cosmic radiation and radiation from the sun because the atmosphere is not protecting you as well because you have less of it between you and space so you'll actually see that go up which is pretty cool and there are a lot of natural sources of radiation some salts you know salt that you use on food it has a, a slight radioactive property to it and there's other things also um, you may have an old watch laying around, maybe passed down a couple of generations, to, you know, ago. That glow in the dark, and it's not the kind of glow where you have to keep it under a light. It's not fluorescent. It just glows all the time. Well, way back when, <laughs> they actually put radioactive uh, stuff on the numbers to make it glow in the dark. And it's radioactive. And that could harm you. So, having one of these, you could go ahead and, you know, test that watch out. Make sure it's not, you know, you don't... Make sure it's not <laughs> something you want to leave on your arm. So things like that. This guy comes in handy for $115. It is a absolute amazing buy. Again, I bought this with my own money. I bought the uranium ore with my own money. Yeah, people think I'm crazy. Um, but they're probably right. But great peace of mind. Very little to pay for it. Highly, highly recommended by me and a whole bunch of other people out there just check it out the GMC 320 plus by no means I'm calling this a review it's just sort of an unboxing and awareness video um, in the awesome world that we live today highly recommend it alright well thank you very much for joining me here at your obsession channel I really do appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and especially you and I hope you have a great safe day take care bye